Okay, let's talk about an algebra must know, and that is how to deal with functions, and specifically with composite functions. And we're talking about things like this, f of g of x, and this word function in algebra is a huge topic. There's so much to know about functions, about what the domain is, the range is, uh, vertical line test, one-to-one -one functions, inverse functions, uh, all you know, function operations. Well, this is actually a particular type of function operation. It's called a composite function, and uh, this is kind of the typical uh, uh, notation for it, something like f of g of x. So we're talking about dealing with two functions, for example, f of x being one thing and g of x being another thing, and we want to perform a composite function or um, figure out what f of g of x is. So a lot of students get confused with this. They have this kind of like, you know, like, hmm, you know, what do I do here? I know how to do the basic stuff, but this always confuses me. Well, stick around for a couple minutes. You're going to be uh, like an expert at this. You're going to be, man, I'm so good at this. I'm going to charge my best friend five bucks to teach them exactly what I learned in this video. But um, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I've learned one thing over all those years, and that is this. Um, all students can be successful in mathematics, but it requires two things. One, it requires a student to be willing to do the work, to actually, you know, uh, do the homework, take notes, and study. Okay, if, uh, if a person's not willing to do the work, then no amount of... Um, videos is going to be able to help you out. Now, the second thing it requires uh, for a student to be successful in mathematics is clear and understandable math instruction. So that's where I think I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, and you're struggling in math, or if you want to get ahead, I can help you out. I'm going to leave links in the description of this video of all my math information to my, um, uh, not only my math help program, but some additional things as well. Now, if you happen to be preparing for a test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, or like a teacher certification exam, ASVAB. I have a huge library of test prep courses you may want to check out. If you homeschool, I have fantastic middle and high school math courses that you may want to check out. And if you need some math notes, hey, if you don't have any uh, notes, what are you going to study from? But if you need some, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. Okay, so let's get you to get a happy face when we're talking about uh, composite functions. Again, this notation looks a little scary, but it's not that bad. And let's get into it now. Okay, so here we have two functions, um, f of x um, equals 2x plus 1, and we have this other function over here, g of x is equal to 3x squared minus 5. But let's just review how to evaluate any function. So, for example, if I wanted to find uh, f of 1 of this function here, I'm saying, hey, evaluate this function for f of 1, what does that mean? Well, it means plug in uh, 1, wherever the x is at, we're going to plug in a 1. We're going to place this x with the 1 and then just simplify. So f of 1 of this function here would be 2 times 1, which of course is 2, plus 1 is 3. So f of 1 would be equal to 3. So just a quick review how to um, evaluate functions. So let's take a look at this uh, function here. If I said find g of 2, what would I do? Well, I'm plugging in 2 where the x is at, okay? That means wherever I see an x, I'm going to replace with a 2. So here's my 2. This x here, I'm going to re replace with a 2. And now I'm going to carefully uh, simplify uh, this mathematical expression. So 2 squared is what? 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So 12 minus 5 is 7. So g of 2 is equal to 7. So hopefully this is uh, just basic review for all of you, but you need to, uh, um, you know, make sure you understand this, how to evaluate a function, because that's what we're going to be doing here with composite functions. We're just going to be evaluating, we're going to be plugging something into um, a function, like this function here, but instead of a 1, we're going to be plugging something else in, okay? So instead of a number, we're going to be uh, actually plugging in some variables, but it works the same way. So now let's go ahead and get into uh, composite functions. All right, so here is f of uh, x, okay, here's our f of x function is the one I just uh, uh, laid out, okay, and then we have g of x right here. So let's find out what f of g of x is, okay? So what does this mean, okay? Well, let me just go ahead and erase this here. This notation, you can see I have this written out here, but let's just focus in and see if we can interpret this. So it says we're going to plug in we're plugging in the g of x function 
into the F function, okay? So here's um, this X, remember, is whatever we plug into here, we replace that with. So what are we gonna plug in? We're gonna plug in the G of X function, but what is the G of X function? Well, here's G of X. I can either write G of X or I can write this, okay? 3X squared minus five. These two are the same because they're equal to one another. So really, uh, the notation, when I'm trying to find out what f of g of x is, yeah, I'm going to plug in g of x. I'm going to write that. But really, what I'm going to write in, into this f function is this thing, 3x squared minus 5, because these are the same. Okay? So look. So whatever I plug in here, it's going to be 2 times. I'm going to replace this with whatever I want, whatever I'm going to be plugging in. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm going to be plugging in, what am I going to be plugging in here? I'm going to be plugging in the g of x function, okay, into here, okay? But what am I going to actually replace this x with? I'm going to replace it with this, because g of x and this are the same thing. So that's 3x squared minus 5, okay? So here is that f function. So I'm going to plug in 3x squared minus 5 right in here, and then I'm going to simplify, and that is that. So let's go ahead and do that now. So f of g of x, again, is going to be 2 times... This is the g of x function. It's 3x squared minus 5 plus 1. Okay, do not forget uh, the rest of the f function. Remember, the f function is 2 times whatever we plug in plus 1. Okay, so this is where a lot of students, sometimes they kind of forget to write the rest of that uh, function there. And now I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and simplify. So 2 times 3x squared minus 5 is what? That's going to be 6x squared. And that 2 times that, 10, uh, that 5 is going to be negative uh, 10. So again, 2 times 3x squared, 6x squared, 2 times 5 is 10. So I have 6x uh, squared minus 10 plus 1. Now I just go ahead and add these. So that's going to be negative 9. So 6x squared minus 9, that's what f of g of x is. And that is that. Okay. Now if you did this problem with me and you understood this and you just wanted to just check to make sure you got this right. Well, then that's fantastic. Let me give you a nice little happy face and an A plus for being such an astute math student. Okay. Well, guess what? I have a practice problem here for you just to make sure you know what you're doing. Okay. So let's just go ahead and do this. So here's our f of x function and here's our g of x function. Same functions, but this time I want you to find out what g of f of x is, okay? So how many of you out there can do this? I just told you how to do this, right? So you're gonna be plugging in the f of x function into g, okay? Now I'm gonna give you a chance to think about this and do this so you can pause the video. And of course, I'm gonna show you the answer here in one second, but you know, I think the best way to um, use this video is to pause it and you know, do it yourself. Because you know, watching math is not the same thing as you actually learning math. You gotta practice this stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at the solution. Okay, so here we go. So now we're talking about plugging something into the G function. Now what are we gonna plug into the G function? We're gonna plug in the F function, okay? But instead of, um, instead of uh, right here, G of F of X, instead of plugging in F of X right here, we're gonna plug in this, okay, into the G function. So that's gonna be three times, here is the F, uh, F, F function, two X plus one squared minus five. Okay, you can see how I have to carefully write this out. So it's gonna be three times, this right here is gonna be the F function, which I'm gonna write two X plus one. That's what F, G of F of X means minus five. So if you understand this setup, then uh, at this point, you just need to be really good with your algebra. Okay, so what do I do here? Well, I have to figure out what 2x squared, uh, 2x plus one squared is. Okay, so that means 2x plus one times 2x plus one. You want to put that in brackets. Then we'll multiply that by three, and then we'll subtract by five. So this does require a little bit of uh, algebra work, but it's still not that bad. So 2x squared, plus one and two X, I'm sorry, two X plus one times two X plus one. Got to know how to multiply uh, binomials. If you don't know how to do the FOIL technique and whatnot, definitely check out uh, additional videos on my YouTube channel or just sign up for my algebra course. I teach this all completely comprehensively, but here's the answer to that. Okay, when I multiply these two binomials together, I get four X squared plus four X plus one. Now I can multiply this whole thing by three. So three times four X squared, 12 X squared three times four X 
is 12x, 3 times 1 is 3 minus 5. Don't forget that 5. You see, if you're not writing everything out step by step, super clear, neat, and structured, you're going to forget things. So, you know, you probably heard your math teacher say, write clear, show all your uh, steps, because this is how your teacher is grading you. They're looking at your work. They're like, okay, they know what they're doing here, da 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 da. And you need to kind of grade yourself when you're doing math. So, write things down, double, triple check as you go. All right, so now we just go ahead and um, clean this up. So 12x squared uh, plus 12x, and then 3 minus 5, of course, is negative 2. And that is the final answer. That is g of f of x. So this was a little bit more difficult, but if you got this right, well, that is super impressive. Matter of fact, it's so impressive that I'm going to give you a good old 1980. Uh, let's make it 1983. That was a good year. 1983 uh, Mohawk haircut, A plus, 100%. And matter of fact, we'll give you a few stars just to make you feel extra special today. Nice job. Okay. Very, very impressive uh, because one, you understood the whole idea behind composite functions. Okay. How it works. And two, you're able to kind of handle all this, you know, um, a multiplication of binomials and everything else and track this problem. But remember, okay, uh, you know, math is, it's typically what messes up people in math is not the um, how to do something. It's the execution of the problem. Okay. They're not writing things out nice and neat. They're not double checking their work. And that's why you have to practice. Okay. So remember, just like it's just no different than like basketball. If you want to get good at basketball. So here's the basketball hoop. Okay, here you are, right, playing basketball, is what you know, watching TV, watching a great basketball player, you know, is that gonna make you better in basketball? No. So you watching me do math is not gonna make you better in math. You have to do these practice problems. But the same thing is this, if you just do one problem, if I just shot the basketball once and I made the the basket, I'm like, yay, I'm good. That means I uh, every time I shoot the basketball, I'll get every single problem. Uh, you know, every single basket uh, in. No, that's not the case, okay? So it's no different. You have to continuously do a lot of practice problems, and sometimes you're going to make errors and correct those errors, but math is a skill, okay? It's no different than any other skill you learn. You have to practice. So again, follow through. So a couple of suggestions. One, I teach this stuff thoroughly in uh, any one of my algebra courses, especially Algebra 1 and beyond. So if you need additional help, check out that. And I do have uh, more videos on my YouTube channel about composite functions as well if you're still needing some extra help. But if this little video helped you out, go ahead and consider smashing that like button and maybe even subscribing to my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus math videos from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of my content, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.